I don't think there's anybody in the world that's not heard of pancreatic cancer. Their uncle died of it in two months. Their grandmother died of it in six weeks. I didn't know anything good about pancreatic cancer and still don't. But um, perhaps I'm the luckiest stage four pancreatic cancer patient ever. My name is Earl Gross. I live in Advance, North Carolina, and I was diagnosed six and a half years ago. I found out I had pancreatic cancer when I thought I had a herniated belly button, and I went to a doctor. He had me get a, a CAT scan. The next morning, he said, you've got tumors in your lungs, your liver, your pancreas, and your fatty tissues. I learned more about it after I got on the internet and started reading, and it didn't look good for the home team. I called my daughter, the doctor, and told her I had cancer of the everything. As a stage four pancreatic cancer patient, I didn't qualify for surgery. We had just gotten back from Burning Man when I was diagnosed. My wife said, we'll go back to Burning Man next year. That's over 6,000 miles round trip. I've got stage four pancreatic cancer. You're planning out a trip across the country. And I said to myself, yeah, right. My doctor daughter, she got me hooked up with this clinical trial, an experimental drug that helps the chemo do its job better. And you also get to take a little less chemo. It's been terrific to have a daughter that's a surgical oncologist. I mean, she meets with pancreatic cancer patients regularly and helps some of them survive. There was just a lot of things came together that very few people with stage four pancreatic cancer are lucky enough to have. So we planned and planned and went to Burning Man the very next year. We went three more times and we've got our tickets to go this year. We buy and prepare breakfast for about 120 people every morning. We camp with a group from all over the world. The purpose of our group is to bring bluegrass music to Burning Man. Burning Man is different for everybody. One person would describe it totally different from the next. I enjoy seeing 70,000 people all doing their own thing. My scans have shown no active cancer for over five years. I'm actually on a chemo break right now. I've not had chemo in about five weeks and not sure when I'll have my next. My biggest supporter, of course, has been my wife. We've got three children. They've been very supportive, all of them. The most rewarding thing is watching my grandkids grow up. Being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, it's made me more conscious of living today. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow, but when you get this diagnosis, you look forward to tomorrow a lot more. I've got friends that call me their miracle man, but when I got diagnosed, there were 2% of the people that lived over five years. Now it's up to 11, and it's going up every year, so they're going to find a cure for this. It's not a death sentence. There is hope.